You're watching the 2024 SCAC Men's and Women's Tennis Media Days. Today, we're taking a look at the Texas Lutheran University Bulldogs Men's and Women's Tennis Programs. Bulldogs will be led as they head into the season under the guidance of head coach David Miller, along with the leadership from sophomore Cash Herrera and first-year Lindsey Baville. Coach Cash, Lindsey, thanks so much for joining us today. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you for having yeah. us. Coach, we'll get started with you uh, heading into your second season as the head coach of these two programs, uh, a spot you're familiar with, having served as the assistant the previous three years before taking over last year as the head coach. I, I'm interested, you know, how did that transition process go for you? What did you learn uh, over the course of last year being that first year fully in charge? And, you know, uh, you know, ultimately, how excited are you to be back for, for year two and get ready to go here for, for the spring part of the season? It's absolutely great. I Coached at a high school in New Braunfels for many, many years and, you know, very, very successful. And we're trying to get that same level here. And it's, I'll admit, it's not been easy. Uh, we're considerably better this year on the men's side. Uh, we had a lot of young players last year and they've worked hard and improved. And unfortunately, our, a lot of our women left. And uh, that's, that's the challenge right now. Lindsay is You'll be speaking with her, but she's our top player, and we're trying to get a full team at, at her level. And that's our goal. Uh, and it's As a coach, you try to keep players pumped up and excited, and I think they are. But when you're trying to turn a program around, it's, you, you, it's hard at first because you don't have the success that you want to have. Cash, Coach talks about, especially in that men's side, a lot of youth getting experience last year, and you certainly fit that description coming off of your freshman season heading into your sophomore year you know what did you learn over the course of last season playing that first year of collegiate tennis you know how will you take that experience and and you think that will boost uh, your confidence just understanding the ebbs and flows uh, coming into to your sophomore campaign uh so like he said he coached at high school and I was also uh, a player under him for four years there and so uh, a lot of high or coming from high school to college it's very different and my freshman year I'd uh, face a lot of adversity especially with the conference that we're in, it's very tough. So uh, kind of just dealing with that, uh, going from match to match, and just rather than thinking, why did I lose? Just thinking, how can I improve from what I did last week? And just doing that and going forward each and every week and just trying to improve my game rather than focusing on the score at the end. Lindsay, for you, uh, you know, Coach speaks about how excited he is to, to see your development here at TLU heading into your first season at the collegiate level. What are you most excited about coming into your first championship spring season? You know, what are you looking forward to the most and what are you excited about as you embark on this new experience? So in the fall, me and the girls, we had a really great season. We put out some pretty big wins at the ITA regional tournament and just jumping into the new spring season. I'm just looking forward to just team bonding more with the girls and just like seeing like where their heads are at. And I'm just looking forward to just the great experience, just playing college tennis. And I just look forward to just getting more wins under our belt. Coach, you mentioned, you know, starting to to work to turn the program around uh, and, and the challenges that you face as you've, you know, taken over as head coach. What are some things, maybe some philosophies, messages that you've really given to these two programs as you try and put your fingerprints uh, and work to, to start to build these programs and lay that foundation? That's a very good question. And when I was in high school, we, we had success <laughs> almost every year. So it was never like starting over. And first, you need to try to change your mentality and that uh, play hard every match, give it your all, and try to learn from it with the eventual goal of we need to start pulling out some wins. And our men's, men's team is really right on the cusp of that happening. We've uh, played our last three matches really, really well. And this week we play some division two and NAI schools and it's going to be, that's going to be a challenge, but we're looking forward to that. And uh, when we start our conference matches, I think we're going to be in the hunt with a lot of them this year. We are in the past, we were just showing up and trying to win a match or two. Now we're hoping to do much better than that. Cash, you mentioned some of that adversity that you faced over the course of your first year. Coming in now to your sophomore campaign, off to a wonderful start already in the start of the spring season, uh, being named SCAC Singles Player of the Week earlier in the year. Speak a little bit to, to where your game is right at right now. What have you worked on uh, over the course of the fall season coming into this spring? And, and when you're playing well, uh, where, where are you most comfortable uh, out there on the court? Uh, 
coming in from my freshman year, uh, like I said, it was it was it was really challenging. And so uh, being able to really just work with my team, especially in practice and in the off season, just being able to talk to them about what we think we need to do to improve games and stuff like that, just kind of like putting myself in positions where I felt uncomfortable off the court made me feel more comfortable on the court. And so being able to really just do that with my teammates and my friends uh, off the court really just helped my mindset whenever it finally came time, especially with this, these matches that we've had where we knew we could win. It's just a matter of how we play whenever we're out there. And so I think I'm just most comfortable whenever I just like really feel well and I have like the support of my teammates and friends all behind me, like being able to be out there on the court with them. Lindsay, you spoke about the excitement uh, with this program coming off of the fall season and some of the successes that you and your teammates had. As you've made that transition, jumping from that high school club level of tennis now to this first year of the collegiate uh, game, you know, what are the biggest adjustments that you've had to make uh, within your game and how have you kind of faced those challenges uh, heading into this year? So, yes, the there is a huge jump from high school to college, especially since in high school it was, it was definitely a lot easier, but now, since I'm playing the number one spot as well, it's definitely been a lot more challenging. So I'm playing not even just like obviously better people, but just way more experienced people. And since I'm just so new to the college tennis, it's definitely been really challenging. But I do believe I've been playing some of the best tennis that I've played throughout my tennis career. And so I hope just to keep like just climbing off of that and just getting better from here. Coaches, the, the fall season unfolded and, you know, dipping in here to, to the start of this spring season, just listening to both Cash and, and Lindsay both talk about the excitement they have, the successes that they've had, uh, you know, both early on this year and in the fall. Um, you know, what are some things that maybe you've seen that maybe surprises you a little bit? Some of the athletes that you uh, have started to stand out within these teams that kind of give you confidence uh, continuing to move forward into this year? My, I try to get players to play hard every match. And uh, – Eventually, with that mentality, you start to see things change. And both Lindsay and Cash are very, very good defensive players. And that's that's a great quality to have, but we're trying to work on keeping that and getting a little out of our comfort zone to become a little more offensive. Because if the top the top players hit the ball so big that if if you're defensive all the time, you're you're gonna it's it's gonna be tough. You've you've got to get out of the comfort zone, start going for shots, and eventually then you get comfortable and confident that you can hit those. But I think that's step one to get to the next step is to get out of the comfort zone and start having a bigger game, but a controlled bigger game is is the the key. Finally, wrapping up with our student athletes, Cash and, and Lindsay, when you've had conversations with some of your teammates about looking forward to this season, some of the goals and expectations your two groups have, what have those conversations looked like? And ultimately, what's going to be key to trying to accomplish those heading into the year? Uh, so for me, just coming from the men's side, uh, I feel like the men's team is very close. I feel like we all talk with each other, especially about where our future is. And like Coach was saying earlier, uh, this year the men's team definitely feels a lot more surround than we have in the past year. We have much more depth than we're used to. So. Uh, like, again, like he said, we really hope to just, instead of being, oh, can we win one match or two matches? We really want to win the whole thing. We really want to go out and really put some, put some wins on our season right now and just look to get somewhere good for the end tournament. And then for the girls side, we definitely had some, we had a few player, players leave. So our team has been kind of empty and we had definitely had a, a good amount of new players joining. And I definitely think that was kind of like a first thing that was kind of like hard to deal with because we were all kind of new and people kind of already like knew each other. But, you know, switching around the doubles teams and that just helped us just create a stronger bond. And so we just look forward into just getting more wins and w winning a few matches here and there. And finally, Coach, just wrapping up with you, you know, in our world, obviously success can, can be measured in so many different ways. Um, but for you, when you talk about success with these two programs uh, and you deliver that message, you know, what are those conversations kind of look like? What are you trying to, to shape as far as what looks successful for these two groups and ultimately 2024 looks successful for these two teams if what plays out in the year? Coaches, I think, too often are measured on wins and losses. And if I – went by that here I'd be struggling mentally a lot and you've got to take little steps and first you need to make it a competitive match and then start winning some individual matches and then turn it around and you know we talk about the importance of making good grades 
Last year, our women's team had the highest GPA of all the sports here at TLU. And academics is certainly important. And, but working hard is, I think, just as important on the court. And if you put in the hours, you put in the time, you're gonna, you're, the success will come. It may not come tomorrow, but it's gonna come and you just gotta keep going forward and learning from each day and trying to become better as a person and a player. Texas Lutheran University Bulldogs men's and women's tennis programs. Again, the Bulldogs led by head coach David Miller along with sophomore Cash Herrera and first year Lindsey Baville. Coach Lindsey Cash, thanks so much for your time today and best of luck as you continue to move forward throughout the rest of the year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.